YouTubers, this is Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. This is the uh, polyanilin and meraldine, and uh, they converted to the molecular form. Uh, refer to my other uh, YouTube videos on the preparation of a meraldine polyanilin. And uh, what I did was, uh, after preparing it, I converted it into the paratoluene sulfonic acid salt. And that becomes soluble in dimethylformamide, about 10% solution in dimethylformamide solvent. You can also use polyanesidin, the uh, ortho or paramethoxy aniline. And uh, this will give you an idea of what the cardboard electrode looks like. And I simply paint it on both sides. And with the hair dryer, I evaporate the solvent apply about five or ten coats to the edges and uh, to the other side and uh, I pair that with a graphite electrode here's another electrode that I prepared and it works I'll be uploading a video on pairing it with graphite now here I have a rectangular sheet of graphite I also painted the uh, a meraldine on both sides, but I'm pairing the cardboard with uh, a graphite, untreated graphite electrode, and uh, the battery works in aqueous magnesium sulfate. I'll be uploading a video on that, but I can charge, uh, it's a secondary cell, organic battery, and uh, I can use it, uh, short circuit it, and recharge it, and I'll be hooking it up to an LED and uh, collecting current voltage data but uh, very easy to prepare so you take it up in uh, and apply it with paintbrush here you can see some of it so it can be sloppy but you just make sure you put paper towels down on the bench top but it does work and it's a very very easy way to prepare an organic uh, battery by coating this on cardboard and I put a strip of aluminum on the top as current collector. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.